Good morning, boys and girls. As you can see, Miss Sweeney has lots of spirit. Miss Payon Sex called this week Spirit Week, and today was Dress for Your Favorite Holiday. I really couldn't decide which is my favorite. I love them all, but I decided to dress up as a Christmas tree for you. Let's begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Dear God, please help all the sick people. Please help all the children who don't have a family. And please help me do the best that I can to be like Jesus. And please let us be together again real soon. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we're going to take some time to do the calendar because we are starting a new month today. Yesterday was the last day of March, so today is, what comes after March? January, February, March, April it is. Very good. And as you can see, we have two special birthdays in April. We have Salvatore coming up on April 4th. And we have Gregory coming up on April 18th. And today is the first day of April, so it is April 1st. Right? We don't say April 1st, we use our ordinal numbers, it's April 1st. And if yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday. Repeat after me. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. And Espanol, hoy es... El miércoles 1 de abril 2020. Very good. And we are on our 129th day of learning. We could also say 100 plus 29 equals 129. Okay, let's begin our lesson. We've been working on the letter B, and we know that the B sound says B, B. We're going to move that B sound to the end of our words now. I made up my own story, trying to think of as many words as I could that end with the B sound. I'm going to read it first, <coughs> and I want you to listen for the B at the end. Bob used to work in a lab. Now, Bob drives a cab. Bob drove a cub to a pub. A pub is a place where you can get something to eat and drink. Bob wanted some grub. Grub is another word for food. So, he went in the pub with the cub. Bob is a slob and wears a bib, right? Could you imagine a man wearing a bib? Babies wear bibs, but Bob is a slob. Bob ate crab, corn on the cob, and a barbecue rib. Bob made a big mess with his grub. Bob went home and got in the tub. Bob had to rub the grub off. Now, Bob the slob eats his grub in the tub. Poor Bob. Okay, what I would like you to do, you're going to have a copy of this sent to you, is what I'm doing now. We're going to go through and we're going to highlight the B's at the end of words. Does Bob, yes, and actually it has a beginning B too. But we're focusing on ending B right now. Bob used to work in a lab. Now, Bob drives a cab. Bob drove a cub to 
a pub. Bob wanted some grub, so he went in the pub with the cub. Bob is a slob. And where's a bib? Bob ate crab, corn on the cob, and a barbecue rib. Bob made a big mess with his grub. Bob went home and got in the tub. Bob had to rub the grub off. Now, Bob, the slob, eats his grub in the tub. So after you find all of the ending B words, I would like you to use a marker of a different color and find all of your sight words and put a box around them like to and in and a he with a a on I know you guys can do this a is a and okay you're going to do it at home now okay also i'm going to assign on the seesaw website for you to draw a picture of your favorite part of this story so there's a lot of funny information here about bob i think you'll come up with a great picture and try to include as many details as you can from the story now the practice papers you are going to do are and will be sent to your parents. The B at the end, you know how to do these. You circle the picture that has B at the end and you will write the B. That's okay, they're going to get a copy of it. And also, since now we know beginning and ending B, you're going to place the B in the right box. Is it beginning B or is it ending B? And then if you'd like to fill in the missing letters like we do in class, you may do that as well. Okay, boys and girls, I'll see you in a little while for math.